this week's One Image My Edit. So this week I'm going to be showing you how to correctly adjust the white balance of your pictures within Photoshop. So usually we will um, you know, use Lightroom, which is a great tool for adjusting the white balance and the color temperature, which is the same thing of our images. But if we use Photoshop, we can get a more precise adjustment. Uh, and I'm going to show you how to do that now. Um, this works really, really great for portraits. You can really get some good skin tones. So they look natural. It's a really simple and easy process. And there's only a few clicks before you, you'll see the results. So let's get to it then. So it's really simple. So the first thing we're going to do is make sure our layer palette is open. So if you can't see that, just go to window and then scroll down to layers. Or you can press F7 on your keyboard and this will appear. Now what we want to do is create a new layer. So come down to the bottom here where this square is with a kind of a plus sign in it and just create a new layer by clicking on that. Then what we're going to do is we're going to come up to the top. We're going to go to edit and then go to fill and we are going to select 50% gray. So yours might be on uh, something else. So just select 50% gray. Blending mode is normal and opacity is 100% and then press OK. Now what that's done is is filled our picture with 50% gray. So we need to change the blend mode. And to do that, we come up to the top here where it says normal, we'll click on the little arrow and we're going to change this to difference. So you can see that we've almost created a, a negative. Now what we need to do is create a new adjustment layer. And to do that, we come down to the bottom where we've got this circle. It's half full. You can see it there at the bottom. Click on that and then scroll up to threshold. So what threshold enables you to do is change the whites and the blacks within the image. So at the moment it's set to 128. Double click on that and we're going to change it to 15. Now what we're going to do is we're going to select a black area. So what we what we want to do is find an area within the picture that has black areas. So we're not actually reading black. It's, we've, we've done some tricks up here. OK, but we need to find a black point and, and this will make sense in a minute why we need to do that. So come over to your tools here and select the eyedropper tool. You can press I on the keyboard and that will bring it up. What you can do as well is if you press the shift key, it changes to a circle with a crosshair. So depending on what you want to use, it's entirely up to you. I prefer to use the, the crosshair because it's a little bit more precise. What you're going to do is hold the shift key down and then click on to a black point and you can see there it's made a selection. So we can then zoom out from our picture. Right, so now we've done that, we want to turn these two top layers off. So we come up to the eyeball here and we click on there. So what we've got is our selection and that is actually off a gray point. Now what we need to do is make a new fill or adjustment layer like we did earlier. So come down to the bottom, click here and then this time we're going to go to curves. And with the curves adjustment there, there it is, we are going to go up to the gray dopper, call it the dopper there, sample and image gray point. OK, so we're going to click on that and then we're going to come back over to the exact point that we made earlier, that selection, and we're going to hover over it and we're going to make sure we're right over it and we're going to click and the magic has happened already. Then what we want to do is if you hold the option and uh, shift key down, that will then enable us to get rid of this selection on here. If we come up to the top here, we can look at the before and after. So that's the before and you can see there's, there's blue tones within this image, you know, not correct colors, not correct skin tones, and they can be really difficult to, to get right sometimes. So you can see there that is more of a um, that is a natural skin tone. So the reason why we selected off a black point, it was actually gray because we had this layer here, this this gray layer selected and we changed the blend mode. And then also with this threshold here, um, it's enabled us to really narrow down that gray point. And there are some other areas within the image. So you've got the, the whites there. So you can see the white points and they are in fact brighter areas. So what we've done in essence is 
selected a gray area. And, and then by bringing in the curves adjustment and selecting that gray area, that has now neutralized our image. What I would need to do with this is, um, I just wanna flatten the image, okay? And then bring it back up into Adobe Camera Raw, which is up here. So then we can, uh, we can tweak the white balance if we want to and just really get it precise. So it's a much better way than just jumping into here and trying to find uh, these areas because it's 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 a guessing point um, when you're doing that. So if I just reset this back to where it was, you know, we can say, okay, well, if this is a little bit warmer than what we want, then we can just drop it a little bit and it gives you a really, really good starting point. So we can just press okay. And uh, yeah, that gives us our finished picture. So you're before and you're after much better. I hope you've enjoyed that. I'll see you in the next video.